video is for everybody on YouTube who is very, very fed up with Google and YouTube making the website as unfriendly as possible to the group of people that uses it the least, computer users. The world is filled with cell phones, and they're making it to where it, they're trying to turn it into a TikTok, okay? That's why all of us are downloading blocks to get rid of shorts. They desperately want us to not do that. But anyway, if you go to the home page on your channel or any other channel, you'll see upwards of five videos going across. Now, it's based on its sensing from your web browser what the width is. Now, if you use a non-standard browser or if you tell your browser not to give away how wide it is, you know, which can be used to profile you on the net, that's literally a thing, um, then it won't know what to do and it'll put up whatever number it wants to. And usually, like on the main page where it says home and you're just looking at a mixture of stuff, there'll be five videos right here. Okay, that's simple. Now, if you go to the video page, many of you notice that you either get three or two columns only, which is infuriating as hell. Okay, it's just not okay. Now, what was it looking like before? It had four columns. And the way to fix it, one of many ways, there's several, is to dump in this piece of information using uBlock Origin or some other program that lets you substitute or block components on a website on a coded basis. Now, I'm going to give a link to where I found this because that's what I'm going to do. That's, that's the thing to do. And it works well enough. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to go to this. Um, now I'm going to come out of full screen here. This is a utility I downloaded that hasn't been updated for like a year or two. It's outdated. Nobody's updating it. Now we're going to hit the magic button up here. It's called YouTube Row Fixer. I set it to 10 jokingly. It, it actually does work. I'm going to put it at 6, which is actually my preferred number. And make icons disappear at eight videos. Um, I'm not sure that is something I want to mess with. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I'm just going to click away. And now I have my videos to where it loads them six at a time on the video page. Now, there are some defects in it. It is not perfect. Um, some of the buttons are disabled because I did an experiment before. But other than that, it seems to work pretty damn good. So... That's our first fix, and again, it's just called YouTube Row Fixer, and I'll leave a link to the page. This is mostly affecting Firefox users, at least right now, but it's going to affect everybody. And again, this is based on the website, YouTube, asking your browser for the information on how wide your screen is, whether or not your screen is maximized. If you're using Windows, it has a default to take whatever's on the screen and multiply it by 25, you know, 125 percent of normal. So if you get rid of that, it might give you the rows back or something. But anyway, this is literally a plug-in or an add-on that you dump in on Firefox to change the number of rows visible. I'm going to set it to 5 because that's a nice improvement. Now, again, it's really, as you can see, it's just doing the three columns, and it's trying hard not to let it work, but it is working. So this does does work. And I was using this before when they did it the last time about a year or so ago. You get the idea. And, yes... Again, it's in groups of three. They're trying to force the issue. Okay. In fact, let's set that to six just because that'll make it look kind of round and numberish and kind of consistent. Okay, now I'm going to disable this really quickly by doing another thing. This is the uBlock origin here uh, page, and I'm at the top of it because I need to do the experiment here, and I'm put, pasting this in, and it's the YouTube four videos per row fix, home and channel pages, page margin fix, and, you know, that sort of thing. When I hit apply, this overrides this utility that's on here. So when I reload, it should come up as four videos across the screen eventually. We'll see if that actually works this time. It, it was working a minute ago. I, I've said that in a video before. Let's see if it gives me the four rows. And it's trying hard not to, but at least it's consistent, and it has the spacing correct. It doesn't give us more videos than that. That's fine. And again, that's this. Now, this is the fix, and all it does is say per row four. And down here, does it have the number four as well? These are the margins and stuff. Hmm. I wonder if I change that to five. 
and hit apply. Now let's go back here and wait the glacial period of time it takes to reload a page that's in cache and shouldn't take this long. And let's see if it fixes it. And again, YouTube has chosen to make it to where a lot of people who are watching this maybe only have two videos across the screen instead of three. And that worked. So again, a new block origin with this rule overriding YouTube entirely, I'm able to set it to five rows. And I'm going to leave it like that. And again, I've already installed a utility. I can just disable it uh, that would let me pick the number of rows here as you saw, as many as I want to. This one does it a little nicer. And again, all I did was change a single number in here. That's all. So this is going to be cut and pasted to wherever I can get away with, and I'll link to where I found it at. But you can change uh, rich grid items per row, five or whatever you want. I'm using five because that makes it consistent with the home page. When I go to here, it does the same thing now. The lack of consistency on YouTube's website and their insistence on making an entire subcategory called shorts that honestly a lot of us didn't ask for and would love to permanently disable. And I had to install a plugin to get around it to redirect it. YouTube does this stuff on a regular basis because they want a certain type of clientele on the website because they'd rather deal with them than everybody who shows up. And by the way, what's with the web 2.0 rounded off corners on square images? I mean, come on, YouTube. Anyway, so if you're having this problem, um, I'll give you the link to everything. But again, just this script here does it. But seriously, this plugin that lets me just go ahead and do this and set it like that, that that's pretty freaking awesome, too. It's, it's actually probably more elegant. So I'll leave a link to everything there. So I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And yes, it's just YouTube and Google messing with people to see what they can get away with. That's what they always do. You should be used to it by now.